Newport Beach is the dream that a lot of people think of when they think of California. Yeah, everybody surfs every day, everybody goes on boats every day, and it's Southern California on steroids is really what it is. It's in between Los Angeles and San Diego, along this gorgeous coastline. A lot of people with money live in Newport Beach, so a lot of people with gorgeous boats, including some pretty nice yachts, will pull up at the port there. It's one of the few places in the United States that you can buy a multi-million dollar home and have a dock ready to accommodate a 50, 60, 100 foot yacht. Oh yeah. I'm here. Yeah, I'm the captain of this boat, doing an outstanding job. Tom Hawks was just one of these all-around good guys. He grew up in California. He grew up on a farm with a brother, Jim Hawks. They liked to go surfing. They liked to go sailing. He was in the military. He saw some fighting in Vietnam. He became a probation officer. His brother became a police officer and then later a police chief. So he came from a law enforcement family. Eventually, Tom got married and had two boys, Ryan and Matthew Hawks, and he ends up raising them after he ended up getting a divorce. I met Tom's son, Ryan, in Newport Beach when we first started doing this story in 2009. How close were you guys growing up even? Very close. My parents divorced when I was probably like five. He pretty much raised me all the way to adulthood and um, made me who I am today. Jackie, hello. Hi, honey. I'm so glad to be home. She's home. Jackie was a very down-to-earth, really sweet woman. When he met Jackie, he called me and said, hey, I finally met somebody. And if you guys hit it off, I know I finally found the right one. And Jackie and I hit it off. And we did everything together. They had a lot of friends, 150 people at their wedding. The boys called her mom, even though their mother was still alive. The more you learned about Tom and Jackie, the more you liked them. They were rich in love, not so much in the pocketbook. They saved their money. They were frugal. They worked hard. Even though he never made a lot of money in his lifetime, he was a saver. And he did invest in a couple of small properties and, and made a little money on that. But really, at the end of the day, he found himself in his 50s able to retire if he wanted to. And uh, Jackie was all for it. He had a dream. He wanted to buy a boat and live on the boat. He buys the boat. It was about $300,000. Well deserved. Everybody agreed. That's the perfect name because she was. And we just came across these beautiful dolphins. Aren't they beautiful? I love how they play with the boat. The well deserved is a 55 foot trawler. It's kind of a smaller yacht, but you can live on it. Tom had outfitted this vessel with everything. Inside was beautiful teak, it was immaculate. They put in a lot of up-to-date equipment, the GPS system, and all kinds of other stuff that really made it nice. This is our GPS, this is where our boat is, and approximately our ETA, etc. Their boat was moored uh, in Newport Harbor right off 15th Street, and they would use their small boat to travel back and forth from the dock to the well-deserved. This is the first day of our new cruising season. Jackie's kind of at the helm, and there's Isla San Pedro. They spent their time going from Newport Beach up through the California coastline into Mexico. We just arrived on Isla Coronado, Tom set an anchor, and we're gonna get ready and explore. Tom was a crazy fitness guy. He's like an ox. Look at his muscles straining. How to stay in shape at sea was one of his obsessions. He had weights that he would lift. He'd do pull-ups off the side of the boat. Here's Tom doing his workout. He's looking good. They had a wonderful love affair. They worked together as a team like no other. They were true first mates and captain. With a picture of the sun, getting a little bigger. This is what cruising is all about. 
So this was their life for two years until some pretty dramatic news came their way. Matt, their youngest son, was about to have a baby. Oh, there he is. What a baby. It was gonna be their first grandchild. And this was a big deal for Tom, but it was probably an even bigger deal for Jackie. Jackie was involved in a motorcycle accident when she was 22 years old and had some internal damage and tragically was unable to have children of her own. When her stepson, Matt, had that baby, she really wanted to play the role of devoted grandmother. Oh, you're so beautiful. They were planning on selling this yacht, taking the proceeds from it, and moving close to this grandbaby. Hi, Jake. You want to say hi to Grandpa? You're getting so big. I think it just hit home with them how important family was. There's Grandpa, holding his old grandboy. How are you? You're not getting a poop on me, are you? The Hawks decided to downsize. They were going to go from that huge boat to a small boat, dock it in Mexico, get a little house there, and still be close enough to go see the grandson who lived in Arizona. So they were willing to sell the well-deserved and being very frugal, they wanted to bypass the broker and just sell the boat on their own. So they took out an ad in a boating magazine. They went on one last trip to Catalina Island. Jim Hawks, Tom's brother, brought his boat, and they all had this little party. OK, here we are on Catalina Island. This is our last trip to the island because uh, we sold the boat. And we're all having a really good time. So after this last Catalina cruise, Tom and Jackie had told Jim Hawks and other people that you know the sale was going to take place in the next few days. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll be all right. But you don't know what's going to happen. Next thing you know is no one can get a hold of them. For them just to shut off their cell phones and drop off the face of the earth is extremely out of character. And when Ryan and his brother Matt tried calling them and they weren't answering, they knew something was really up. Ryan's in Arizona. So Ryan puts in a call to his uncle, Jim Hawks, who lives in San Diego. He used to be the chief of police for Carlsbad Police Department. Jim Hawks jumps in his car and gets down there. Don Treffin and Jim Hawks are looking for Jackie and Tom. So they go to Newport Beach. There, they find the well-deserved, but no couple. We were there, we looked for their car. We, you know, walked around a couple of blocks. It's the kind of where they would park. Couldn't find their car. Well-deserved is there, but Tom's not around, Jackie's not around. It's pretty quickly evident to everybody that something is amiss. And we went over to the dinghy dock, and this well-deserved dinghy was there. It wasn't properly tied. And I just told Jim, I go, this, you know, this is not right. This, something's going on here. My uncle knew something was wrong right away. Your dad didn't tie the dinghy. Your dad didn't lift the motor down. We met with Carter Ford, and we went out to the boat. From a distance, you probably wouldn't notice too much. But as you get closer, the first thing you notice is that the boat was tied, but lines were hanging kind of over the side of the boat. As we came up on the boat, I noticed that the tarps were all off, all the controls were just kind of peeled back, and there was a towel hanging out one of the portholes, and I got a sick feeling in my stomach, just like something wasn't right. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.